Welcome to the basic measurements using the wideband power sensor video. We are going to look at the basic operation of the wideband power sensor using the 5000 XP handheld power meter as the interactive display. Before we begin to take measurements, we will look at setting up a couple of the basic features of the power sensor. First, we're going to talk about zeroing the sensor. Over time, the sensor's zero value, which is the reading with no applied RF, can drift due to environmental factors such as temperature and humidity. This can make the readings performed by the sensor less accurate by the amount of the drift. To get the most accurate readings, you should always zero the wideband power sensor before taking measurements. Uh, the steps to zero the meter are, one, ensure that the sensor has reached its stable operating temperature. Two, ensure that no RF power is applied to the sensor. Three, Press and hold the zero key for two seconds. A message will appear asking you if you want to zero the meter. Select OK and press the blue OK button to start. Calibration will take about 60 seconds. Do not interrupt the calibration. The bar on the screen will display the progress. If the calibration is successful, pass will be displayed on the screen. Press OK to return the 5000 XT to its normal operation. The second feature we are going to review is setting the smoothing of the wideband power sensor. Smoothing tells the wideband power sensor how many samples to average together for the displayed reading. This feature helps the power meter to display stable readings. For this demonstration, we will set the smoothing to 8 samples. First step is press the menu button. Use the up and down keys to navigate to the smoothing function and press OK. Use the up and down keys to select eight samples and press OK. Then use the left arrow to get back to the measurement mode. Now that we have set up the 5000 XT and wideband power sensor, it's time to take a few basic power measurements. The currently selected measurement type, in this case the forward average power, will appear at the top of the screen with two other measurements at the bottom. To cycle through the different measurement modes, press the left and right arrows. If you would like to see only the selected measurement, you can press the plus minus button at the bottom of the unit. Each mode has options for displaying the measurement information. To change the unit of measurement, simply press the up or down arrow. For power measurements, you can display the data as watts or dBm. For the measure match mode, you can display the data as VSWR, return loss, or match percent. 